Hey guys, it's Ozia and uh, welcome to another episode. Today we're going to be looking at the watermills. Um, this episode's going to be a little bit different as I stuffed up recording it. Um, didn't actually record any audio, so I'm actually doing ADR, I think that's what it's called. Um, basically it's just voice over the top. So essentially I'm just trying to explain what I'm actually doing on the screen. I can, And I did this on another day, so I completely forget most of the stuff. So please forgive me if you see some stupidity. Okay, so basically you need uh, several generators. So that's with an RE battery, a machine block, and a uh, furnace. So I've got about 12 here. And so I've got 12 uh, generators to do. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to put uh, sticks in the corners. As you can see I'm doing now. Good work, Dean. Good work. And then planks in the empty spaces. Okay, and you'll note that you get uh, two wood mills for every single recipe, and that's a little bit. Uh, <coughs> I didn't actually expect to uh, have twenty four of them. I actually thought um, I totally forgot about the uh, two. So when I created this little structure here to show where I was going to put stuff, I only meant no, I thought there was going to be getting twelve. So what you want to do is uh, for the start of this uh, wood mill tower. Uh, you want to put down a cable down the middle, uh, down the center. It's best to use a ultra, um, I think the, I, should, I think I should bring up something momentarily, but uh, either fiber cables or the ultra, here we go, uh, the ultra low current cable. Reason for this is the water mills create such a little power that any kind of resistance will zap all the power out of them before you can even make use of it. So what am I doing next? Okay, so I'm, obviously I'm explaining something. Something, something, something. Okay, so then you want to create like a, a Christmas tree outwards. Uh, working with a jetpack seems quite difficult. So we go like this. Oh, 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 almost there. Well done. Okay, then. Then, then this one, then. Whoops. Ah, there we go. Okay, so now replace uh, the ends of the trees with uh, the water mills. So, the objective here is if you place water on top, uh, actually, scrap that idea. Better explanation is a water mill um, drives power off all the sides that have uh, that water. This also includes the corner side, so in a 3x3x3 three by three by three, you'll have uh, 9 spaces, 9 uh, empty blocks. So when you put a water mill in the centre, uh, that leaves 8 spaces and then the cable takes away one, so you've got seven spaces. So the objective is to get all seven spaces around a water mill uh, to have water. So that'll create the maximum amount of power. Um, this setup here, where we've got a, a central uh, power line and then one power going out on either side and the water mills on the end of those, uh, it seems to be the most efficient way of doing it, as I'm probably explaining now which is not being recorded, that totally sucks. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna put the other ones on there. Doo -doo -doo. Bang. Ah, uh, silence, it's beautiful. When you want it. Okay. Okay, so I think I'm going to do a bit more jump cutting too. Uh, so at the end of this, you shall see water. I'm putting water there, so jump cut. Back on back, as you can see, uh, we're getting most of the water down here. Um, but what I've realized is that underneath the, uh, the water mills is um, actually an empty space. It doesn't look like it, but there is no water there. So I'm just putting that there. 
And uh, I think that's about it for this demonstration, right? Um, now, please like and comment uh, and uh, such. Um, if you want any requests or questions, just put them down. I'll be happy to do videos or just answer them, whatever. Uh, so until next time, guys. Mm.